Hello, glorious, not so glorious dirtbag highway that I should have been on 45 minutes ago. How the hell are you today? My name is Josh. You've never met me because you're not a person. You're just a bunch of concrete, rubber, pain, sweat, tears. Not sure where I was going with that, but yeah, we're running behind. It is 6.07 in the morning. Not sure why that's wiggling like it is, like a little jellyfish, but uh, yeah snoozed a few too many times we're gonna do the intro in the truck stuff and things but i need to turn up here and stuff what is going on you dirty old stash stoners it is me and uh the camera wasn't even pointing at my face i used to do intros in the truck every once in a while not very often but every now and again and yeah we want to hit the ground running when we get there it's usually a uh, morning bite we're going to my buddy mikey's house it's one of my favorite places to fish there's big fish there's mean fish and uh, we got some special special lou hairs that we are going to be giving a shot to today nothing too special but special enough that i will bring it up in this intro that i'm recording while i'm driving my greasy old crusty truck but anyway without further ado we got uh, four minutes according to old Google Maps until we start uh, ripping some greasy fish lips. Come along with me, see what the hell we can catch. Stuff and things, puff and pound. All right, we have uh, crazier baits than this for sure. Holy shit, are those shad? These look like baby wipers or something. Maybe yellow bass, but we got ourselves a big whale instead of a baby whale. And to be honest with you, it might actually be an adolescent whale for all I know. There might even be a bigger size than that, but bigger than the whale that I'm used to using. It should work pretty good. And there's fish out there. Lots of small ones. But hopefully there's some adolescents or adults as well. And we have some crazier baits than this, but... Kind of got a late start. Why does the damn sun come up so early these days, boys and girls? So early. That's all right. We'll make do with what we got. What we got is 615, a fish splashing out there, an adolescent whale. Uh, that was a fish, I think. And the dirty old underground spillway that's dumping out some mud water, but We'll see what we can make work and stuff. Oh my God. Something just slammed that. Holy shit. Holy shit. Well, some days we come here and we have to work for it and there's some days we come here and we don't have to work for it. It's just kind of how fishing is most days, most places. But I can already tell, 30 casts in, that if you guys are seeing this, I probably had to work for it. Most likely. But maybe they'll fire up. No! <gasps> right here at my feet. Right here at my feet. That was so sick. That was so sick. No, bud. Stay away from the dock. Stay away from the dock. Stay away from the dock. That was so sick. <laughs> that, thing, that thing about bit my shoe, boys and girls. It about bit my shoe. The water was muddier. So I switched to the old chatter and bait. I used to use chatter baits on my channel all the time, but it's been a good while. It's been a good while. I don't think it's like a super giant, but it's pulling out line on this, so that's giant enough. On the old chatter and bait, more vibration. I don't think I've ever caught a wiper on a chatter bait. Actually, one time a long time ago, I caught a pretty big wiper on a chatter bait out of a pond, but it's been a while. It's been. A oh, while wow. that was so sick that'll wake you up in the morning boys and girls old wipey diapy trying to untie your shoes for you <sighs> old blue finned bud <clears throat> 
so sick. Fish is warm. Water warmed up real fast in this area. Went from being cold to not cold real fast. So instead of big camera in this guy, we're gonna get him back fast because wipey dipies aren't exactly the hardiest of critters, but he like, hopefully my camera was pointed down enough. There's another something, but he hit it like right here where the water changes color. That was nutty. That was nutty. Might have just been dumb luck or maybe our slight little adjustment might improve our day. It's hard to tell, but it didn't take didn't take forever with the old uh, chatterbait, I can tell you that for sure. Tell you that for sure. I can also tell you for sure that we're at least gonna throw it for the next 15 minutes or so. See if we can't get more, see if we can't get a different species. And uh, yeah, good start. Good start. Well, holy shit. That's what it looks like when it is really low. We still got some water flowing in though, so we're gonna give it a shot and uh, yeah. It's a long time later. I don't know how long ago that was, the part that you just watched, the part that you just saw, the one wiper and the whatever the hell else, but uh, yeah, it's been a while, a couple months at least. See what's here when it's low and stuff. Uh, I'm not even gonna turn the camera around for like a traditional second intro. I am gonna clean you guys up though, cause you're dirty. And we're gonna start with a baby whale because that's what's tied on. Wrong pull. Wrong pull. But yeah, I don't know what's going on here. But it doesn't look doesn't look real great. I don't know if it's just been a uh, low year, not enough rain, or if they're like actually draining this place. Or if it's just, this place just has some extra water level issues because uh, everywhere has been pretty low this year. It's kind of been a Midwestern drought-ish. But this is like really low. That thing just slammed it. That thing missed it first and then it just nailed the baby whale. Oh my God. I really wasn't expecting this to be like super great because this has just been kind of off. But somebody recently said, I think in my last video, you should go back to the underwater spillway with Boo. And while I don't have Boo, because Boo has other things to do today, I am back at the uh, underwater spillway and that was first cast on the baby whale and it was pretty similar scenario to the last time I was here months ago and the fact that it hit it right at my damn feet. I've never caught one on a baby whale before. I believe smaller than the one at the start of this video, but that will wake you up in the morning for sure. Holy shit. <laughs> and another thing you guys have been saying, not all of you, but people have noticed that there's been, been a lot of catfishing this year and it's just, you know, Catfishing's my favorite thing. I'm not gonna apologize about it. You wanna have it? I'm not gonna apologize about it. The catfishing's been better than everything else this year. But yeah, we're just gonna try to catch something other than catfish this morning. And we just did. We just did. And if we don't catch anything else today, I'm actually just, I'm fine with that one. We got another one. We got another one, they're here. They're home. They just haven't been home this year, boys and girls. My buddy Clint and my buddy Mike have been saying it's just been pretty bad with the low water. And they've just been kind of random. And this place isn't very close to my house. So it's kind of a decent distance to drive if people are telling me it hasn't been good morning it seems pretty good though angry little white fun on the new updated medium stash stick for sure mm. 
Thanks again to everybody who got stash sticks. It means a lot. And yeah, I'm glad I made the adjustments to this one. Made it a medium instead of a medium heavy and I like it a lot better for swimmy boys. Anyway, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. And stuff. You're getting pecked by some little fish. It's kind of a small spot. Well, it's not a small spot, it's a big lake, but the fish is small. And it's like it happens fast and then it's hard to get bites after that. So we'll try a little crappie plastic that I just randomly have on and see if we can't just catch something. There's a species in here that's kind of like a panty boy. Holy shit. That I don't catch very often, so let's see if we can catch one of those. Whatever that was just slammed it. Oh shit, wiper on the crappie jig. And I don't think it's tiny. Ooh, it's in the dock. It's in the dock. Eh, it's in the dock on the medium light. No, no, I was worried about that. I was worried about that. He's grinding, he's grinding. A little crappie jig paid off though. <laughs> Even if we don't get him, just feeling that thing dump it was disgusting. He's still on. He's just really stuck. Like really stuck. Let's see if we can get him off. Just a little downsizing. I don't know if we're gonna get him, but. The downsized worked. Well, he's off, I think. I can't see where my line is. Yeah, he's off. Little tiny crappie jig boy got smashed. And I know I'm not supposed to just turn my jig head in like that, but my backpack's all the way over there, you know? You know? Baby whale's not that big of a lure, but sometimes, sometimes you just gotta downsize. We almost stopped that one enough that we would have got him, so we'll try again. Might have the same results, but we'll try again. Definitely was in the upper class of wipey dipey though. Another three, four, or five pounder or something. I was just kind of hopping along with dunk. dunk. They hit it so hard. They hit it so hard. Let's see if we can get another couple to hit it hard. And stuff. Yeah. Is that the weird species I was talking about? It's either a tiny wiper, but I think it's a yellow bass, which is something that I never catch. Yellow bass? Wiper? It's kind of hard to tell, but I think it's a yellow bass. Not like the craziest panty species, but it is a species I haven't caught forever. I haven't caught one of these for years. Years. And years and years and years. And stuff. Now that one might just be a wiper, I don't know. They look a lot alike. Clearly some still around, we'll throw out the baby whale again. Better chance of landing it. A little bit bigger jig head, a little bit bigger hook. And we already caught the yellow bass, so. New species. And stuff. Right here, right here, right here. 
right here. That was like a pretty light wiper bite, but the uh, few of the wiper bites show that they will hit at any time. And you don't necessarily need to figure eight them, but you almost could kind of like a muskie. Not much line out. Back to the baby whale instead of the crappie jig. And they're slowing down. They're slowing down. We're gonna try to catch one more. And then this is gonna be too much information for some new folks, but just enough information for the old folks. I didn't take my morning dump. And it's cresting. Cresting. I wish these wipers were cresting a little bit. They're all kind of skinny, but water's low. Late summer. One just blew up over there. I can hold my morning poo for a little bit longer, I suppose. But not much longer. And stuff. Damn. I just felt them hit the dock. Jesus, Pete. I felt them running into the dock. Got one. Got one. Got one. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, he's on there. He's on there. There's zebra mussels. He's going nuts. We got him though. We got him. Figured I'd come over here and try throwing with the current. And <clears throat> I get out here and they just start busting. Busting nuts. Honestly surprised it took that long to get one because there was like 30 of them. 30 of them blowing up. Probably need to check my line after that too. But There was a school going so we're going for it. But we got some, I assume to be zebra mussels right there that he was kind of rubbing up on. I'm surprised I didn't break off, to be honest. Both times I got stuck in the dock. But, floor curbing. Floor curbing. Good stuff. And stuff. Alrighty, boys and girls. We are giving up. It honestly went a little bit better than I was expecting it to based on... The fact that it's so low, water is usually about uh, at least three feet higher, maybe four feet higher, and yeah, Midwestern drought or something. Caught a few, went uh, went pretty decent. Video was kind of all over the place. Actually, it wasn't because we basically still fished the same place. It was just three months apart, and the video started in my truck, so I guess, yeah, I guess that is kind of all over the place. But if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. I am going to go to a new spot, new to me, never been there before to give it a shot and um, yeah I'm excited about it so morning poo needs to be achieved before it achieves itself and then um, yeah see you maybe in a couple days at the new spot stuff and things puff out